motivations that you told me you had was the disrespect that the British media gave you. Is there any kind of motivation that you're having before this fight that's going to lead you in? I think the motivation and uh, the disrespect is just between me and, and myself because I think everybody needs has their own little their mind playing games, you know? So I think we need to stay focused. We need to motivate ourselves. And, you know, why do we do this? Well, what's the reason why we do this? And I feel it's for my, my people, my, my family, my kids. And, you know, we just got to give it all we got. Do you feel like it's going to be one of the more physical fights in your career? Yeah, it is because it's, it's a style that I haven't uh, fought before, you know? But like I said, I like taking t uh, chances. And I feel like I perform better when I'm under pressure. So. On Sunday is going to be a hell of a fight, but I know I'm going to get that victory. You know, he was here moments ago, and he said from the first bell to the last thing, he's going to try to go for a knockout, which is great. At least it's an exciting fight. That's good. You know, like I said, I'm a good counter puncher. That's exactly what we've been practicing about. Um, a lot of countering, um, staying focused, staying ready, staying uh, alert. So yeah, that's perfect if he does that. Andy, one of your more memorable fights was against a fellow Mexican-American and Chris Arriola. I know you're focused no, on your fight at hand, but uh, we had a chance to speak to Canelo this past Monday, and he said that he wouldn't be willing to fight Sudor Ramirez if he beats Bibol or Benavides because they're they're his countrymen, they're Mexican. Um, how do you take that, and where do you stand in, in terms of giving the fans those kind of fights, like, you know, talking about Morales versus Barreras? They were Mexican, but they always gave us great fights, you know? Where do you stand it's because that? fighting a Mexican and a Mexican is hard because we know these Mexicans are not going to give up, you know? Know? So fighting uh, two Mexicans, best believe there's going to be a war. There's going to be an all, all action fight. We all take hits and we all receive them good, you know, and we could take punches. So that's why it goes back and forth, back and forth. And that's how it was with me and Chris Arriola. It was going back and forth, back and forth, even though I got hurt. But the, the Mexican in me made me get back up and win the fight. So it's hard it's you know canelo problem. is the face of boxing is he is, is he in his right to say that to to approach things that way at the, uh, towards the it looks like this is the end of his career like like he's getting closer towards the end is he is he in his, oh, canelo? yeah is he right to approach the game like that not wanting yeah, to fight well, a fellow he, he countryman he can fight whoever he wants you know he, he's the main guy um you know he's a champion i feel he's already on that level where he already proved so much that he doesn't even need to prove anything to anybody um, I think he just wants to get the big fights, and I'm pretty sure if he fights Bivol again, I think he knows he knows that he'll beat him. He told me. Andy, do you feel that this is a harder fight than the Joshua fight? Um, we don't know. Like I said, we all have a plan until we get hit, like Mike Tyson says, and you never know. The hardest fight, the hardest opponent, maybe it could be the the easy, the easiest fight. It only takes one punch to change the the fight, and and in the prediction you know but the main thing is i'm i'm here to to win man knockout comes it comes but my plan is just to be victorious right, thank you very much thank you and appreciate you guys no no pressure i knew you get clear out got a fan right there oh, excuse me sorry guys